Hello and welcome to Grounded, a show all about hiking and trailing across Ireland. In this series, I go by foot to some of the most incredible places in our amazing country. Why is it called Grounded, I hear you say? Well, normally my day job is an airline pilot, but right now, due to C-19, I'm not flying and, well, I'm grounded. My name is Greg Brown, and ever since I was a child, I loved experiencing the great outdoors. But like many of us today, I lost touch with what we have here to offer in Ireland. Roll on, the dreaded C-19, which got me thinking. With all this time off, why don't I go and rekindle the love of hiking and the great outdoors? Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Grounded. On today's show, I am off to Joust Mountain in County Wicklow, otherwise known as the Garden of Ireland. To get you started and find the car park, just type in JB Malone Car Park into your satnav and it will bring you here. Why is it called the JB Malone Car Park? Well, you'll find out in a couple of minutes. First of all, I cannot do a hike dressed like this, so nobody needs to see me naked. Nobody. So here's a nice view. 300 meters up this path is the JB Malone Monument. This is the JB Malone Car Park. Come with me now as we go and check it out. So when you're on this path, you follow it, and you're aiming towards this rock up here, which is the JB Malone Monument. It's gonna take you around about 20 minutes or so, depending on how fit you are, unlike the cameraman, Mark. <laughs> Just follow the path and these yellow hiking man signs. It's fairly handy. 10 minutes from your car, you're gonna get a view like this. It's Loch Tay. Some people say it looks like a pint of Guinness and others say it's owned by the Guinness family and they shipped the sand in to make it look like a pint of Guinness. But either way, it is an amazing view. And as I said, 10 minutes from your car. Most of the hike is pretty easy and it's covered with a boardwalk all the way. You can see the film set to the Viking spin-off called Valhalla. In fact, you can just see the white tents of the movie set down in the valley. So when you reach the JB Malone Monument, which is this rock, make sure you take a moment to have a breather, take in the view, and snap a selfie. Good old JB Malone. Who was he? Well, he was a son of two Irish emigrants who moved to the UK in the early 1900s. When he became older, he decided he wanted to come back to Ireland to research his heritage. And when he came to Ireland, he discovered he really liked it. He was one of the first trailblazers in Ireland who hiked across the Wicklow Way. In fact, most of the Wicklow Way, if not all of it, are JB Malone's original tracks. So when you're walking on these boardwalks, think JB Malone. So it's taken me around about one hour and 10 minutes to hike up Jouse Mountain from the JB Malone Monument. You follow the boardwalk all the way and it's very, very easy to find. The view 
is absolutely beautiful. Out to the left, Dublin City, Bray in front of us, and down to the right, you can see all the way down as far as Arklow, or as they say in America, the entire Eastern Seaboard. So even though it's a very beautiful mountain, it was actually the home of an almost tragic plane crash in 1946. Some girl guides were coming to Ireland for a well-deserved rest after World War II. When the plane approached the coastline, the pilots lost situational awareness and the airplane belly flopped into the side of the mountain. It was bad weather. Thankfully, it's not all terrible news as everybody survived and the French girl guides returned to France a few weeks later. As if surviving World War II wasn't bad enough as it is. They think they're coming to Ireland for a vacation and the plane crashes on the side of a hill. How lucky are they? And for the plane anoraks out there, it was a Junkers 52, otherwise known as Iron Annie. I think it's time for some self-indulgent, gratuitous drone footage. These gates are very, very important for mountaineering staff and rescue staff to get to people that are in trouble up the mountain. So if you are coming to this car park, do not block this gate. Park well away. I'm out breath, lads. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Grounded. A son of two Irish emigrants. Is it emigrants or immigrants? Okay, so they're emigrants. Okay, you ready? Good old JB Malone. Who is he? Well, he was the son of two. Who was it? Who was he? No, powers court. Everybody survived and they all went to the local bar and had a pint. Hey!